are you doing? Aren't you meant to be phoning round? I have. And? Jamie's not there. I've tried him already. Sam's not in the Vic either. So you thought you'd play on the swings? You're obviously very tired. Why don't you go home and get some sleep? You ain't my doctor anymore. And this ain't some management training exercise that you sort of people go on. This is my daughter. And my fiance. Anthony. I wanted to give you this. It's to show people in case you haven't got a recent one. Thanks. You're right. The car should be here in a minute. Anthony? So his handwriting. Would you read it for me, please? My darling Anthony, I'm writing because I wanted to let you know that I'm safe and to ask you not to try and find me. I'm sure you've spent the last few days worrying about me and I hope they haven't caused too much trouble for you. Oh, Mo, you look lovely. It's not too much, is it? Of course it ain't. Look, this is the new you, remember? Yeah. How are you feeling? All right. No, nervous. Well, that's good. Look, Billy's eyes are going to pop out when he sees you like that. Look, um, you haven't got to do this, you know that, don't you? You've nothing to prove to anybody. I do. To myself. Come then. <sighs> oh. Relationship. Well, when do you think it's right to, um, you know, take the next step? Oh, that depends. <laughs> Can't usually wait till she's had her curry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, seriously, though. Uh, Billy ain't been pressuring you, is he? Oh, no, no. It's just he's a bit more, you know, touchy than normal. Because some people wait, don't they? You know, like Auntie and Zoe. Look, men are dogs with itches. They might be polite on the outside, but trust me, any time after the first hello with Sue... Oh, ignore her. She's a slapper. <laughs> no, these are facts, Mo. Billy might be lovely and all that, but, well, you can tell he's a right old goer. Can't. <laughs> Look, just because you live your life in the gutter, it doesn't mean everyone else has to. That's one. Right? Then drink up and clear off your legless. But not so wide-eyed, eh? No. My eyes are wide open. But not that wide. I can't believe you took the credit for my ideas. All right. Alfie! So I would say, gorgeous. It just about sums you up, doesn't it? I talk and you ignore me. I had no choice. Oh, you know what your mum's like. I backed you up, though, didn't I? Yeah, for about three seconds. I'll forget it. I've had it with this place. I seem to spend most of my time. So what happened to your head? Try I'm really sorry, but I haven't changed my mind. I'm gonna go somewhere more private where we can talk. I don't really. I think we've said it all, don't you? Then why are you here? You got something that belongs to me. Twenty grand's worth, and I want it back. Okay, you can have it. No, don't. It'll contract the metal. I'll pack it in, Einstein. Time. Let him wait. So it's not Andy I'm worried about, you moron. Yeah, I'll try this. Just hope he's out of here by the time Alfie gets back. Is it helping? I'll tell you what, if he lets them fugs loose on him again. You need to calm down. I don't want to calm down. I just want this over with, Lynn. Oh. What is going on? Why ain't Lynn back? Can I relax? How can I relax? Alfie could be back any minute and they've already beaten him black and blue. Oh, who's stupid idea with his eyes, anyway? I told you it would contract the metal. Shut up. Shut up! Here, hold on. Let me see. Here, you're in luck. Rub some of that on. What is it? Cream for me farmer Giles. No way. Well, it shrinks them. You know what you can do with that, don't you? Come on, Kat, it's worth a go. Just leave me alone, will ya? Well, we're only trying to help. Some help. With all your stupid ideas, you just made everything worse, and now I'm stuck with this... What did he say? He said, um... 
He said you got till tomorrow. Right. Well, it, has he gone? Yes, yeah, so, I'll um, come put your feet up, relax for ten minutes, yeah? Come on. Yeah. Cup of tea would be nice, Dan, yeah? Well, they're not here. Who? Well, whoever it is you're looking for. Silly boy, I've come to see you. Why? I'm sure you can guess. And you can't tell me you don't want to. Uh, I'm married to Lynn. But you're not together anymore. Uh, yeah, but what about Neville? He's changed. He's too busy with work now to pay any attention to me. You want a real man, Gary. Some attention. Some excitement. Oh, you mean a bit rough? Oh, yes, please. Close the door. Now, show me what I've been missing. How do you fancy snuggling up on the sofa with some turkey? Barry, the way you're going, you're never going to get into your suit. Well, let's burn off the calories, shall we? I have got to go to the office. What, on Boxing Day? Well, I left my wedding file there, and I've got to call the hotel and confirm some details. How long's that going to take? And I've got to catch up on paperwork. I mean, if me and you are away next week... We certainly are. Mm hmm Mr and Mrs Evans on honeymoon. A whole week with nothing to do except... Uh, <clears throat> uh, maybe I should get back into training. A run around the square should do it. Yeah, well, let's hope it doesn't uh, tie me out too much for later on. Barry! What do you mean? What were you thinking of running off like that? You gave me no choice. The last thing I ever wanted to do was to hurt you. So you'll marry me then? I can't. Oh. Let's go find somewhere private. There's so much I need to say. No, I to don't you. want words. I'm sorry, Janine. We are supposed to be exchanging our vows tonight. In sickness and in hell. Till death us do part. Surely those words mean more now than ever before. Please just let me. I don't care if you've only got one day left to live. As long as I get to spend it as your wife. Janine. Janine. This way, darling. Sharon, you look sensational. You reckon? Is that the dress that Dan's got you for your birthday? Well, I just thought it was about time I gave it a bit of an airing, that's all. Right, it's so I'm off to Sonia's when we get ready together, so I'll see you over there, yeah? Right, sweetie. Bye. Bye. Shouldn't you be getting ready? Dennis? Kate, it's me, Ian. Ian, I told you I'd sort out the drains another day. Not about the drains. This is about you. You shouldn't be on your own, you know. Fine. You need company. Listen, I've been thinking about the day my dad died. It was the same day as Peter and Lucy were born. I remember bursting into Auntie Pauline's bottle of champagne in hand. I was all ready to celebrate. And instead, I'd never felt so alone in my life. And I reckon that's probably how you're feeling right now. But you don't have to be on your own. 
Couldn't you be with your kids? Sonia's babysitting. Can I come in? For half hour? Okay. You have a bed. This is not it. with your naked flesh? Zeke! Can you come in here and sort your brother out? What have I done? What have you... Do you think this is acceptable? Parading around in your smalls, corrupting an innocent girl? Is everything okay? <laughs> Hello, good morning, Aisha. Everything's fine. <laughs> you know, we're just... This is us starting our day off. <laughs> it's a Masood family tradition. Would you like to go and help yourself to some breakfast? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Masood, can you go with her? Keep her as far away as possible from that. Aisha. Is that my jumper? Uh, I, I didn't know it was yours. I was called. Do you, do you want it back? Oh, uh, uh, no, 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 no. You keep it on. I, uh, I, I, I've got to get Camille ready for nursery. I... Oh. Is it all right? Yeah, it'll be fine. Magic sponge in my day. Before they ventured out of septic, was it? Oh, let's see what I've got for you. Got away with kids, have you? How about one of these? What do you think you're doing? I'm trying to help. What, by choking him? I'll leave it to the boys then, shall I? I can see you two are more than capable. <laughs> 